Tonight, the ABC 7i team takes you on the streets for one night in Chicago. Their assignment, find out what it's like for those who live in urban America's deadliest sector, where it's so dangerous there have been calls to deploy the National Guard. Investigative reporter Chuck Gowdy joining us tonight with a look at what they learned. Chuck. Kathy, Ron, we have been to Baghdad and we've been to Bosnia in hurricanes and earthquakes, at riots and at ground zero. But how could the I-team safely report on this one night in Chicago prompted just as serious discussions in our newsroom? And with good reason, just as we were arriving in the Gresham Police District, 10 miles due south of Chicago's Loop, even before we reached for the cameras, five shots were fired across the street from us and where detectives were making a drug arrest. As the sun set on a warm Chicago day, there was no pretending that one night on the streets was going to be anything other than a glimpse of reality. But this year, Chicago's image has been defined by shots heard and seen around the world, usually snippets of carnage and mayhem. Where's that coming from? 124 people have been killed so far this year, one per day. About the number of Americans killed during the same period in Iraq and Afghanistan combined. So this one night in Chicago, in the small swath of urbanity where almost all the victims have died, we stayed to find out what it's like on the firing line and when the gun smoke clears for the elderly man limping down the street at midnight, the neighbor on the phone at 2 a.m., the people in the laundromat at all hours. I had a guy killed down the street here about three weeks ago. It's all terrible. Got to do better. Shots fired is one of the most common calls to police from this district. And when people who live around here phone 911 to report shots fired, they usually do so anonymously. Sometimes the shots hit, sometimes they don't. I mean, it's just that this person might not be shot. On this night, the police spent hours responding to calls of shots fired from alleys and gangways on street corners, in parking lots and living rooms. At midnight, as Ernestine Hansard was returning home from work at a Southside nursing home, she dodged three gunshots on her block. He scared the fool out of me, so I called the police. Because I was watching them run, and we was telling them that they running towards uh, Ashland, going eastbound. Well, what you get off work? I mean, what what do you do now after something like this happens? I mean, you, you don't go to bed. You don't go to bed and go to sleep. You, I wouldn't think. <laughs> no, I'm really going home to watch a movie. As paramedics treated the intended target injured when he dived for cover, neighbors were still shielding their children from what they say is an every night occurrence. Not far away, in another incident, police say a gang patrol tried to take down this man, but only wounded him in the leg. After he was put into an ambulance to be stabilized, a group gathered across the street and taunted him. A Chicago police sergeant with an automatic rifle stood guard. All night, we found most residents not interested in talking or saying they knew nothing, covering their faces in some cases and invoking a code of silence that for many extends from the press to the police. You guys see what happened? Huh? You didn't see what happened? Police and residents say each and every violent incident we saw tonight involved gang members. According to this new Chicago police study, of all 12,278 murders in Chicago between 1991 and 2008, the statistics reveal a continuing growth in gang violence. Forty percent of all Chicago murders in 2008 were gang-related. How would you like to have this gun aimed at a police officer? Your son or daughter or mother or father? or your brother or sister. And despite Mayor Daley's disquieting photo op last week, his own police department statistics show that in 2008, hardly any murders were committed with assault rifles. 77% of all city murders were committed with handguns that are already banned. The police data reveals one statistic has changed. In 1991, Chicago police solved 67% of all murder cases, most with an arrest and prosecution. That clearance rate has plummeted. In 2008, the last year sampled, only one of every three murders in the city was solved. That doesn't deter 72-year-old Curtis Penny from risking a midnight walk. As long as you have the cane, people don't bother you. No, no, they get out of your way and everything. Because they figure you can't, they hardly make it. It's a tough neighborhood. Yeah, I don't know what it's about and why people are so angry and why they're doing what they're doing, especially killing the little ones. 
At the laundromat, Laura, you saw there, declined to give her last name, but told me she would like to see the Illinois National Guard soldiers on the street of her community. She says Mayor Daley should set aside pride in politics and remind gangs who actually own the streets. She stopped short of suggesting that the mayor himself spend one night in her neighborhood. But if Mr. Daley did so, he would see that police seem to be doing all they can with what they have. And we plan to revisit these neighborhoods over the next few weeks and have further reports on what's happening in our city. You see those numbers in that neighborhood, and it looks like we're losing more. Well, we're certainly not treading water, let's put it that way. Mm, okay. Chuck, thank you.